How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today's video is going to be a short one on how to prevent disease in Don't Starve Together. Now they're going to be a total of three different ways and they're going to focus on before, during and sort of after. So to get started with, when starting a game, if you don't want to ever have to deal with disease in it, it's certainly possible to simply go into the options of that game and turn disease off. Disease is the little icon that shows a dying berry bush, and when you hover over it, it says disease. This is obviously the best way to prevent any disease from ever showing up in your Don't Starve Together game. Now, if you are adding the caves in addition to the regular world, make sure that you turn disease off in that world as well. Number two is going to be focusing on actually playing the game. So after you've started the game, let's say you left all the settings at their default. Well, now you're going to have to deal with disease. So when you dig up plants, that makes them susceptible to disease. But you can prevent them from developing disease by simply sort of rotating your crops every 50 days or less, which sort of makes sense when you think about it. That is the best way to ensure that you don't have an issue with disease popping up. Uh, disease will only spread when players are in the area. So in other words, if the plant is off the screen, it won't develop any disease as far as I'm aware. But this timer is per plant. So in other words, if you dig up and replant one plant on day five, and then another one on day 10, both of those plants would need to be replanted at different intervals if you wanted to get their maximum amount of use out of them. Uh, for the first plant, it would be at day 55, and for the second plant, it would be at day 60. Obviously, you want to stay under 50, if at all possible. 50 seems to be the magic number here. Uh, there's, some, there's a small bit of conflicting information about the actual days. And I think a lot of that might actually come from the fact that disease was implemented into Don't Starve Together before its current implementation. So when disease first popped up, it actually converted resources from one variant to another. In other words, you'd have berry bush to juicy berry bush, then juicy berry bush back to berry bush every time they got diseased. That changed in a new rain. And now when plants get diseased, they die off and the variants of those plants can appear in the world at random based up upon your settings when starting the game. So that could have a lot to do with some of the misinformation that is circulating about how disease works and don't starve together. And if I am wrong about anything in this video, please do point it out. I want to make sure that going forward from here, I'm only putting accurate information out on the table. The 50 days number, I would like to cite my source on that because the wiki actually says after day 50. Uh, I don't think that's the case. I think that's coincidental, but it certainly could be true. Now, I got the every 50 days timer from KCDA, a very experienced player who hangs out on the Reddit sub forum for Don't Starve. I trust their knowledge of the game, and based on their previous behavior, I do not believe they would ever spread misinformation about the game. So once again, this 50 days or less crop rotation is a number that I sourced from KCDA, so if you ever get the opportunity, uh, thank them for it. So number three, last chance to get rid of disease in your world. So you decided not to disable disease when you first started. If you thought you'd give it a try, you used the tactic that I presented in number two and rotated your crops every 50 days or less, but you're overwhelmed by it. Now I could just tell you, well, don't be a fool and never dig up your plants. If you don't dig up your plants, they will never catch disease, but you already did it. So. What is the alternative? Well, you can actually, if you are the server administrator, and use a console command to disable disease in an existing world. Now this will apply to both individual worlds. So if you have a upper world and then you have the caves below that, the caves and runes, uh, you'll have to send this command twice. And this command comes thanks to a Reddit user called Hobgoblino. Their comment is the one that I'm sourcing this from and I'm going to be putting it on the screen as well as in the description for you to copy and paste at your leisure. Um, the first command here disables the disease, the second one saves the map, and the third one restarts the server so that the change gets applied. You might 
still get a bit of disease for a few days, but after using these commands, you will never have to worry about it again. If you have caves, remember, do this exact same thing, but while you're actually in those caves. So that wraps it up for disease. I hope you found something that you could actually apply to one of your games in regards to how you're going to be managing your plants. If you have an alternative way of managing your plants to ensure that disease does not spread, I'd be excited to hear about it. These are not original ideas. I just try to present them better. I think sometimes it is necessary to explain the philosophy behind something. Like, what is the purpose of the videos I create about Don't Starve? Well, it is to present the information in as digestible a manner as possible to reach as many people as possible and inform them about these aspects of the game. I've seen a lot of Don't Starve content that fails those hurdles. They fail to explain exactly what is going on in the video. It does not do a curious and inexperienced player much good to throw up some random event on the screen and expect they will understand the mechanics behind what is going on. And I do my best to describe exactly what is going on on screen and why it happens that way and how you can replicate that. The most of the original ideas I have have been repurposed from other people's ideas. And that is not to be, that's not unexpected. That happens all the time. We simply keep reiterating through different ideas. We build upon those ideas and we make them better. That is where the phrase stood on the shoulders of giants came from. It is simply somebody just adding one more brick to that tower to make it that much higher, to make it that much better. And for those who don't understand understand that or who think that that makes the content illegitimate or undeserving of any attention maybe just maybe it was a suggestion if you have an original idea make sure you present it well the best presentation of these ideas will win so if you originated the idea and yet somebody else beat you out in the marketplace in terms of conveying that idea, that means that you need to step your game up and become a better teacher. Tangent aside, those are my three recommended methods for dealing with plant diseases in Don't Starve Together. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.